We have a jam-packed episode here on Chicago Bears now. Lots of news and rumors to get to. First off, the Bears have added a new wide receiver. We will tell you who that is here in just a few moments. And Alex Leatherwood, he made his trip to Chicago as a member of the Bears now. He practiced, and his general manager, Ryan Poles, spoke with the media about Leatherwood, Tevin Jenkins, a couple other topics as well. We'll react to that. And finally... Arlington Heights is a move to Arlington Heights being announced soon. Lots of stuff to get into on today's episode of Bears Now. This is why you subscribe to the channel. Hit that big red button and subscribe. Let's address all this stuff on today's show. What's up, Bears fans? Welcome into Bears Now by Chat Sports. I am Harrison Graham. Today's show is presented by Manscaped. If you want to get hooked up with the best men's grooming products out there, check out Manscaped, manscaped.com, uh, and use promo code BEARS20. That's going to get you 20% off plus free shipping. All right, Alex Leatherwood, busy show, so let's dive into it. He has arrived at Hallis Hall, and he even practiced today. Took some reps at right tackled the general manager Ryan Poles talked about him and a couple of other topics here's what Poles had to say about Leatherwood he said look he's a talented player who's physically gifted I think he has the ability to play multiple positions Leatherwood himself said I'll be here to give my best effort and I'm committed to this organization and this city bear down you love it when players say bear down because that means they're excited they're uh, fired up and being here Leatherwood later added I'm open to anything regarding in terms of what position he'll be played Ryan Poles would not comment on whether he views him as a tackle, as a guard. He did say he thinks he can play multiple positions, but in terms of where he'll start out, uh, he did not comment. Now, he took reps at right tackle today, so that could be an indicator of where the Bears want to give him a look first. I have said over the past day or so, I think he projects better as a guard. I think uh, his physical attributes uh, kind of uh, show that. He's got a little bit of shorter arms. I don't think he's as quick on his feet as you'd like to be at tackle, but get him reps at both positions, guard, tackle, Tackle, move him around a bit. I will say Bears are probably a little thinner at tackle. You've got Riley Reef as the swing, but uh, if he uh, if he were to get hurt or if Borum doesn't work at it right tackle, you're a little thin there. So I understand them giving him a look at tackle. I think long-term guard is going to be a better spot. But the more I've thought about this, I think – this is a worthwhile addition. I thought so yesterday. I think uh, more so even today. Uh, you've got some young, li talented linemen on your roster for cheap, and if you hit on a few of them, that's a good thing for the Chicago Bears. Now, will Alex Leatherwood start any games this season? Because I think this is a bit of a long-term play here. Type Y for yes, type in for no. Obviously, there's a scenario if injury pops up, but... I don't know. I, I think ideally your starting five uh, that you got right now is the group that you go with all year. Predict it for us down in the comments. Let's go from one second-year offensive lineman to another. Tevin Jenkins, is trade rumors finally dead? I think so. I think the GM kind of shot down the trade buzz today during his press conference. He was asked a question kind of around the lines of, hey, Tevin even said the other day he wasn't sure if he'd still be here. The trade rumors are still circulating. And Paul said, I had a good conversation with him, and I told him how proud I was of him. Again, I think it's about building the best five. I think we have a good five with him in there at guard. So I think it's good for us to have Tevin at guard right now. While he didn't straight up say, yeah, there's no chance that's happening, to me, that's shutting down the trade buzz. Like, hey, we're trying to find the best five, and he's part of the best five right now. Playing him at right guard is what gives us a good combination on the offensive line. That's what he's saying there. So I do not expect him to get traded. Tevin Jenkins isn't going anywhere. We'll talk more on this in just a second. While there was some doubt on whether or not Tevin Jenkins would be here or not, what isn't in doubt is Manscaped being the best men's grooming products out there, the industry leader in terms of being able to shave downstairs and feel comfortable about it. The Lawnmower 4.0, which I've been using for a while, uh, keeps things nice and trim for me down below. They offer advanced skin care technology on this blade, and you're not going to have uh, that razor burn, those cuts uh, like you probably have in the past. You know, before I found Manscaped, I didn't like shaving down there. It's a sensitive area because things can happen. Not anymore. Get going with Manscaped today. Promo code Bears 20, 20% off plus free shipping. The Lawnmower 4.0, just one of many items for you guys to check out. They have a ton of other stuff too. Uh, nose and uh, ear hair uh, trimmer, which I use that as well because, uh, yeah, guess what? I've got nose and ear hair. It happens. All right. Manscaped.com, promo code BEARS20. Check the comments, check the description, get going with Manscaped today. A second look at the depth chart here. You know, Jenkins, I agree with Paul's assessment. He being in there at right guard, 
is a good thing. I expect him to play there all year. I think this that's where his position is going to be. He's going to start at right guard, and if he stays healthy, he'll start 17 games there. I think he's only going to get better and better. He's got the tools uh, to be a really good player at that spot. So I was excited to hear Ryan Poles uh, shut down, uh, at least in my opinion, that speculation uh, around a trade at this point. I don't think bringing in Alex Leatherwood is going to spark Jenkins' trade rumors. You got him at guard. Keep playing him there. Let's go play some ball. Do you trust Tevin Jenkins at right guard? I do right now. I'm typing T for trust. If you're not ready to say that yet, you can type D for don't. But at the end of the day, uh, you better. Because if he's not the answer, not sure there is one on the roster, at least not right now. All right. Uh, quick offensive line note here before we get to the next story. A veteran worked out for the Bears, Colecchio Simile, uh, who has not played in a few years, former All-Pro, two-time Pro Bowler uh, on the offensive line, last played in the NFL with the Kansas City Chiefs, Ryan Poles connection, back in 2020. He was actually playing pretty well, played in five games, then he had a brutal injury. I think it was a torn patellar tendon. Uh, he has not played since. He's in his early 30s now, I believe, maybe he's 31 or so. Um, Talented player when he's healthy, but we haven't heard from him in a while. So, interesting workout. I think the Bears are going to continue to kind of just poke around, see what's out there. And uh, if they sign Osimile, that probably thinks uh, uh, they think he still has a little something left in the tank. So, keep an eye on that. Uh, he's a player who's uh, had a lot of success in this league, albeit not so much recently. All right. This is the juicy part of the show. Coming up in just a moment. Are the Bears... Moving out from Arlington Heights. Is this finally going to happen? Well, Brendan Sugre says that, uh, I don't know, he's reporting in more Arlington Heights news. I have been told by someone close to the situation that multiple construction companies have already put in bids for the project. Bears to Arlington Heights is basically a for sure at this point. We talked about this earlier today, and more articles are dropping. Uh, they even announced an informal event to kind of talk about uh, construction plans, uh, stadium concepts, etc. cetera. Uh, reasons for a move, you can build a state-of-the-art facility that can host other events like the Super Bowl, huge revenue generator, and you get to keep all of it. I mean, it's just a no-brainer financially uh, for the Bears franchise. Feels like an announcement is coming soon. Um, it feels like something is in the works for the Chicago Bears uh, to get this state-of-the-art stadium going up in Arlington Heights. We've talked about the issues with the city. The stadium's 100 years old. Uh, it's low capacity. It's falling apart. Uh, you know, there's not you know, too much they can do to alter the current stadium. And you only get to keep half the revenue as you split it with the city of Chicago. So I think a move is coming. I think it's going to be announced soon. Uh, so get ready because I think it's coming. How do you feel about a potential move to Arlington Heights? Type H for happy, type M for mad. Um, you know, I, I'm somewhat indifferent, but I think it just makes sense to go up there. So I'm in the middle a bit, but uh, I think overall I'd say I'm happy because uh, I want to see a Super Bowl in Chicago. And uh, with Soldier Field the way it's currently constructed, that is just not a possibility. We told you guys off the top of the show that the Bears have added a wide receiver, and it is Amir Smith-Marset claiming him off of waivers from the Minnesota Vikings. He comes to Chicago after one season with Minnesota. You might remember in week 18, he actually had a big game against the Bears, including a 44-yard touchdown catch, one of two touchdowns for Smith-Marset last season. Had just five catches on the year, but for 116 yards and two touchdowns, a big play weapon uh, in limited opportunities, 23 yards per catch. That was kind of his forte coming out of Iowa, seeing Junior year average over 14 and a half yards a catch, I believe. Uh, junior year, 16 and a half yards per catch. So he's got big play upside. 6'1 or so, about 190 pounds, can play that X spot if you need him to. I think a good depth addition here, a young athletic player, again, as the Bears uh, continue to mix and match at all positions. Ryan Poles talked today about adding as much talent as possible. So he joins Darnell Mooney, Equinemius St. Brown, Byron Pringle, Valus Jones Jr., and Dante Pettis on the wide receiver depth chart. One verbal mention as well when it comes to the waiver wire, Caleb Johnson claimed by the Jacksonville Jaguars. He moves on to Jacksonville. Appreciate you guys for tuning in to today's show. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button here on the video, youtube.com slash bears now. That is the link to share with all of your friends. I am Harrison Graham. We'll see you next time here on Chicago Bears Now.